Mandalas are made up of lines, shapes, colors, and patterns. Here are some examples. The following mandalas are a few of my sketches. I hope you can get some inspiration from them. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw mandalas. I like to use fine tip markers because they give me the most precision, but you can use whatever you have at home. You can use a pencil, pencil crayons, markers, whatever you like. So pick anywhere on the page that you would like to begin and you draw a small circle. I'm, mine's not really in the center, it's kind of off center. Once you've drawn your circle, do a small triangle facing upwards. Once you've drawn your small triangle, well, shift your page a little bit and draw another small triangle. Shifting your page a little bit every time you draw another triangle. I find my mandalas look the best when I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles all the way around. Once you've drawn your triangles, you can switch to another color or keep the same color if you'd like. I'm going to switch to pink. And I draw little partial circles in between the triangles, connecting them. Like that. Once I have my partial circles, I can add my next layer. There is no right way to do this. You can choose whatever shapes you like with each layer, whatever color, whatever shape you fancy. I'm going to do this leaf-like shape next. Kind of looks like a triangle, but with rounded edges toward the end. I will continuously draw them all the way around. The points of these leaves match up with the points of my triangle. It might be a little bit difficult to see right now, but as it gets bigger, it'll be easier to see. They're not perfect, and that doesn't matter. It won't matter as you go out. So it's starting to look kind of like a flower. Now I'm going to go back to my orange. And I'm going to put more little half circles connecting my flowers. My leaves. Leaves. Like so. Now I'm going to add another half circle on top of that. Like I said, you can choose whatever shape you want. If you say, oh, I get the gist, and you want to take it in your own direction, all the power to you. Now I'm going to go back to my pink. And I'm going to do triangles on top of my half circles. And see how I'm spinning the page? It makes it a lot easier to achieve symmetry when you turn the page. Now I've drawn some triangles. Maybe I'd like to do some diamonds in between them. So it should look like that so far. 
if you're following exactly along with what I'm doing. If you want to do your own thing, again, that's fine. Going back to orange, maybe I'd like to color in my diamonds with the orange. Once I've done that, I would like to do some more triangles. And I'm not achieving perfect symmetry here. And symmetry means that, and symmetry means that it's exactly the same on one side as it is on the other. It looks pretty good, but it's not perfect. And there's no problem with that. Now I'm gonna add some more half circles. Think about all the different shapes you could use the different lines, the different patterns. Mandalas are all about lines, patterns, and shapes. I'm gonna do another half circle. Always spinning the page around to help me. Once I've done some more half circles, maybe I want to do little triangles. Once I'm done that, maybe I want to just a line that sticks out straight like that. And on the end of that line, maybe I want to color in a pink circle. Once I've done that, maybe I want to connect them with some triangles. Switching back to my orange. Maybe I want to do an upside down triangle inside that triangle to give it some color. Any of the blank spaces in your mandala can be colored or designed even further, right? So maybe I want to add those orange triangles and maybe I want to add another pink triangle. gives it more definition and it makes it look even better. Now I'm going to add some more half circles. I love to use triangles and half circles. I just find them the easiest to draw and I just really am drawn to them, but you can use whatever shape you like. To prove that to you, I will I'll show you this. What if I want to do a square? I can do a square on top of each half circle.
and you just keep going out and out and out and building layers. Now I'm going to turn this into a fast motion video so you don't have to watch me continuously, slowly add layer after layer. Get creative, use whatever shapes, lines, patterns that you would like. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it.